Hey Dragonets, uh, we're going to be playing some more uh, Dungeons and Dragons. So let's go ahead and get started. I don't really have anything to say. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I do, I do, uh, realize that I have, I'm doing a new intro. I don't remember if I explained it, uh, the other, or uh, last episode, but, uh, I just felt like it'd be an interesting change. Need a lift? Yes, please. Two candle keep. After nearly two weeks of walking, leaving over a hundred miles of the coast road behind you, Candle Keep's soaring spires are finally close enough to reveal their details. Set atop a craggy peninsula, rising above the Sea of Swords, the fortress overlooks the surrounding farmland, while keeping a healthy distance from the wild and shadowy Cloakwood. At last. I had forgotten how long it can take to travel when one does not have wings with which to fly. It certainly seems tedious. Agreed. Remember, Candle Keep is the home of the avowed, the greatest scholars on the continent. Be respectful, follow their rules, and try not to let anything too uncivilized come out of your mouth. Anything I should know about this place before we go any further? Hmm. Last I was here, they only allowed the local scholars called the Avowed through the Emerald Door into the Inner Ward, where the libraries are. They have since eased their restrictions somewhat, I have heard, but be prepared to do some favors or pay for entrance. It is ridiculous. Try to... There we go. <laughs> hey, with what money? <clears throat> you said the hundred gold my father gave me was a... Pitiful sum outside of your minor hamlet. Your words. I am sure that you will figure something out. You've been insulting me this entire trip. This will be a lot easier for the both of us if you stop acting like such a creep. I insulted you that first night, for which I apologize. However, I have since only cited your shortcomings and your need to address them. Whether or not to take offense to facts is up to you. Mm. Let's get going. Let's get along. Let's get going. I said, <laughs> don't know why I said let's get along. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do -do -do. I remember playing my first time and trying to pick these flowers, but you can't. I'm just sad about that because they're so pretty, but I, they, I don't have need for them. I don't have a need for them, so I don't need to pick them. Let's just run. Do 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 do. I got a puppy in my lap again today. These fields look almost untended, and I do not hear any farmhands or livestock. Have these places been abandoned for some reason? Keep a keen eye out. If these people fled their homes, they must have had a good reason to do so. And we're gonna look for chests with coins in it, because we need money. <coughs> Excuse me. I had a brownie before starting recording. Because I wanted something sweet after eating lunch. And I had made brownies the previous video. I'm making this the day after. Oops. Did I? I didn't mean to. Skidoodle. <laughs> Got a skidoodle over here. I don't remember. Can we enter? Nope, we can't enter here yet. <clears throat> Goodness gracious. Excuse me. Nope. Pardon me, goodness. Hey, hey you! Wait, I've got a 
something to tell you about those guards. Get you half link. We're starting to wonder if you'd actually stop to talk. What do you need to warn us about? Well, the guards aren't going to let you in. I saw you coming up the road, and it's pretty clear you're not from here. So no one's going to let you in, even to the court of air. Why aren't they letting strangers in? People are going missing in the area. Travelers and locals alike. Those farms you pass by, for example. Yeah, the families that live there just up and vanished. No sign of an attack or anything. So the people in charge are getting right paranoid and only allowing residents to enter the city. What's the what's court what's of air? <clears throat> the first time air, huh? It's a big courtyard area. Kind of like a, a small town in itself where people who aren't among the avowed can live, work, and just find some lodging if they're travelers like you. Only the avowed are allowed to stay in the inner ward after all. Who you? are you anyhow? Oh, people around here just call me Scratch. It's not a very inspiring nickname, but better give them my real name in case the authorities come sniffing around. Used to work in the city office as a scribe, but, uh, didn't work out. So how do we get in? If you're gonna enter Candlekeep, you're gonna need a residence pass. They handed them out to all the locals in their jurisdiction, but it was pretty rushed and... With my special set of skills, I can make one that will fool the guards into letting you through the gate. What do you say? Twenty-five gold, and the documents will be all yours. Hmm. I don't have much of these two. The charisma, I think it is. So let's try it inside. He is telling the truth about people vanishing and the guards being extra cautious, but he is also scalping you with that price. Twenty-five. That's insane! I could live for a whole season on that! <laughs> maybe where you come from, but things are a bit more expensive in the city. Besides, this represents not only the value of my skills, but also the substantial risk I'm taking in forging legal documents for you. There's serious consequences for this sort of thing, you know? We'll try Intimidate, and if it doesn't work, we'll just... go with it. I don't, I don't have much money to spare. And you don't look like you have many customers. Drop the price to ten and I'll pay you. No, I don't, so I need to make each one count. Twenty-five. Fine. We have a deal. Good. Now, I can't make this pass from no, nothing. Two. I sold my last copy a week ago, so you'll need to find one of your own that I can modify. Look at those farmhouses, though. The families there were either taken or left in a hurry. They might have one or two lying around. Bring back a copy, plus payment, and I'll get to work. Be careful, though. The people are gone, but I've heard some rustling around there, and a lot of strange sounds. Never seen anything, but it gives me the creeps. And I think I saw someone go into one of those houses, maybe to stay the night, but I never saw them come out. Probably just missed them, though. Good luck! Yeah, thanks. Of course, we have to do the legwork. We... I'm the one doing all the work. You're just along for the ride. I will contribute as best I can. My advice by itself could prove invaluable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you ever give it. I think there's a chest behind one of these farmhouses. I just need to look back there. Don't remember exactly where. I can't open these, it's a shame. I have like a piggy bank in the drawers. <laughs> I'm just thinking of the coin. <laughs> Thought he moved. See, I know what happens here too. But, ah! oh. What is this thing? Some sort of construct, it would seem. I would presume that it is guarding this house, unless someone left it with more malicious intentions. Thanks, but that advice isn't helping me to kill it! Just tear it apart. Like if it cannot hold itself them. together, it is no threat. To think you needed my help to figure even that out. Ow, your butts. I'd like my spells to charge a bit faster. I 
Are you gonna come at me? No? I don't think I've ever looked in here. Nothing. Nothing. You gonna get me? Do I need to deal with you? No? I could also wonder there was a chest around here somewhere. Oh well. There was a face on the candle, I should say, but it's just drip. It's just wax drip. Yep. Just gonna phase through. Nothing in there. I can press a button. Thank you very much. Come down. Any more gonna attack? Am I gonna be spooked? get me I can't even go back here <laughs> okay I didn't know it no sorry the fluff just hit me In here, right? I did. What am I missing? I don't remember what I'm missing. Is that? Yep, I'm missing him. That's it. Oi, come here. Why are you all over there? Oh, you're <laughs> Finally! What were those things doing on a farm? I don't think seagulls justify that level of protection. No, perhaps they wandered here. Rogue constructs are not unheard of. Still, you might learn something if you look around. Then again, what have scarecrows to do with our mission? Not much, I guess. Katra, I'm going to try something. Do not be alarmed if things start to look different. Wait, what? Whoa. Okay, what's going on? I said not to be alarmed. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna. I was uncertain if I could do this while in your body, but my intimate connection to the material plane allows me certain privileges of perception when... Plane speak, please. Village kid, remember? Of course. In essence, I can see some elements of magic. How enchantments work, their origin or nature, what they draw power from. It depends on the situation, but you get the gist of it. Perhaps this will help on occasion, though I must admit that it is somewhat taxing to use this ability with your body. Please be quick. It's a mess of dirt. There's a hole where the state goes, but you can't get anything useful from this. Lower planes? Other realities connected to ours, where evil things like devils and demons live among other unsavory entities. Hades, the Abyss, Pandemonium, none of them too pleasant to visit. What would that kind of magic be doing here? I cannot say. Some people draw power from such places, making contracts with fiendish creatures or finding other ways to tap into those plane's powers. Sometimes creatures from there also escape into the world either through a summoning gone wrong or random circumstance. We have too little information to judge by. Still, this is worrisome. Be careful. A what now? Oops, be careful. Giant minotaur-like pig bat-faced demon thing. Not great at parties. Vair, was that a joke? Do not call me that. Let's go. What are you looking at, Leia? <laughs> uh, right here. 
Just let me up. Thank you. Over here. Here's a chest. There's a coin. Some papers. A bunch of rotting onions. Folded and then stuffed haphazardly among a pile of now rotting onions, you find a piece of parchment marked with an official looking seal and titled Evidence of Residence in the Candlekeep Territories. A bit wordy and a bit more aromatic than you'd like, but it should do the trick. Good. Now return to that individual scratch. Let us hope that he is adequate to the task. Hope or not, we don't have many other options to resort to, Bayer. Why must you insist on calling me that? It's what everyone in the village called you. It's easier than saying your full name. Be glad that I am a magnanimous and forgiving dragon, else I would be inclined to start tearing up your mind again. Don't worry, you're already a big enough headache as it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so when we do get more points for our stats, I'm going to add a bit of most of them to charisma and intelligence, but also to our strength, because we need it. Oh God, we're going to run. Boy, scratch, we got him. Ah, is that a bit of legal documentation I see there? And smell? <laughs> Okay, well, you work with what you've got, right? Give me a bit to scrape off and refinish the important parts, then I'll start with colour matching, then confirming it handwriting, and your eyes are glazing over. Just, just, just give me the goods and wait a bit. And here you go. Certification that you absolutely belong to the area and can come and go as you like. Just don't let any wizards near it. They get curious. They've probably got spells or something that can sniff out a forgery. Otherwise, though, no one will ever be the wiser. Enjoy the castle! Don't even get to see him run. Was I in the ground? <coughs> Pony! Look how pretty. That's a pretty horse. Why, hello? I can ride you. <laughs> I'll leave you here, though. Oh, bye-bye. Hello. Papers, please. Give, oh yeah, give pass. Here's my resident certificate. The guard glances at the paper, noting the seal and the signatures, but does not peer too closely. Watching him scrunch up his nose, the cursory inspection might have to do with not wanting to put his face too close to the smell of rancid onions. More than likely. All right. Everything looks fine. Head on in. Just keep an eye out for any strange activity. Thank you. I was going to say something, but I don't remember what. Oh. Passing through the city walls, you are dumped into a large, open square that seems to double as a marketplace. It is not exactly brimming with life, but considering how you've lived nearly all of your life in a small village, the number of people in one place is staggering and the activity threatens to be overwhelming. Good. That was tedious, but we made it. Now the next part could be problematic. Only the avowed and certain others are allowed into the inner ward through the emerald door on the far side of this courtyard. Talk to the keeper there and determine what is required to get in and speak with one of the experts. Yes, please. So now we got a new staff. He has 86 coin left. We have enough to get most of the armor. Let's do that. Be, let's get the boots, the pants, and the chest plate, and we'll get the hat next time. And it's 
Oh, charisma. <laughs> so now we only have 11 coins. That's all. We got most of the new clothes. I didn't use any. We don't have enough to buy any potions, but we did use any potions over here as well. Uh, anyways, what I was going to say uh, was I feel like if we had asked questions, the guard would have been more suspicious. So let's, let's look around a bit and see if we can find a chest with coin. Maybe we can get some more. What's, what's down here? I don't remember coming this way. Oh, it's a dark. Okay. An oh. elven woman was once imprisoned here as punishment for trying to take over Candle Keep. She was made to be the lighthouse's sole keeper and to live here in isolation for the rest of her days. She died from an accident only a few years later. But oh. locals swear that they can hear her sad. Madden singing coming from the tower on dark, misty nights. Oh. Can I get to the lighthouse? Every two locations you will receive a new stat point. Oh. Yeah, does he look like uh, Ebenezer Scrooge from the animated Disney movie? Was it Jim Carrey? I think. I feel like that's his name. He also played Dr. Eggman in Sognik and The Grinch. Can we get over there without swimming? I don't think I can. I don't think I can talk to the sailman. Sailman? Sailor? Sailor. Talk to her, okay. Just gonna go up here. Excuse me. Oh, is that a cup? It is, that's cool. Ooh, I like the legions. It's been a bit since I've played this, so pardon me if I sound like I'm playing it for the first time. Oh, we got potions. Good, good. the door. I did nothing. Excuse me. Thank you. What business have you here, child? I, need to I wish to speak with one of the researchers. <laughs> you and everyone else. Do you have an appointment or a letter of introduction? Help a dragon? What if I told you that I am sharing this body with the soul of a dragon that had their body abducted by cultists, and that we are looking for a way to bring him back to his original form? Ugh, not another one of these. There's always some vagrant spouting about being cursed, or needing to find evidence of their royal lineage, or some other such nonsense. Nonsense? This is D&D, people can get cursed. <laughs> If you truly believe that dragon business, then you do not need a scholar's help. You need a doctor so that they can check your head. Gotta say, you're a rather rude and unpleasant person. I'll be looking for more friendly company now. Maybe in the nearest pig pen or among the rats. Very well. I'm glad to see that you have acknowledged where you belong. Bitch. This is unacceptable. We must find someone to assist us, and soon. I can only imagine what those monsters are doing with my body, and already I chafe at being confined to yours. Wow, thanks. Well, do you happen to know where we could find a rare or unique book? No. Distasteful as this may be, we might have to find another dubiously legal way around this problem. Actually, I remember passing a sewer grate earlier. If there are sewers for this outer area, then they surely have some for the inner ward. 
So you want me to break into a sewer, sneak through Ogma knows what kind of filth, and then break into the inner ward to what? Kidnap or threaten a scholar into helping us? Presumably, we would be able to find someone more reasonable, or at least amenable to our request. However, we cannot do that from out here. The sewers are our only option right now. You only say this because you won't have to smell what I do. Actually, I will. You think I only see through your eyes? Child, I am bound to experience everything that you do. Believe me, sharing in your bodily functions these past weeks has been far from enjoyable. Ew. Ew. Okay, point taken. Uh, sewers it is then, I guess? Yeah, and it's great that we're seeing it right in front of this lady. Just say it right in front of the keeper. Can I get in here? No. <laughs> How about here? I don't remember. Nope. Uh, this is what living in a city means? How can one place produce so much filth? You sounded as if you knew what you were getting into. I thought I did. Didn't think it'd be this plentiful. The... the byproduct of civilization. People are... messy. Fair? Are you okay? Do not call me that. It's strange. Even without a body or the need to breathe, I feel a tightness in my chest. Lightheadedness. I... I think that it would be best to spend as little time in here as possible. Please, hurry through this place. Wait, you don't sound so good. What's going on? I just... We need to move quickly. You are wasting time. Something is definitely wrong. Are you hurt? In danger? No. Now move. Go. Is there anything I can do to help? No! Now stop asking idiotic questions. All right, let's make this quick. That is the right direction, and it seems to no longer be sewers beyond this point. These are probably the tunnels running beneath the inner ward I have heard of. Catacombs, vaults, labs... Much of the work and knowledge of the avowed is down here, it seems. Unfortunately, there is a ward on the door. You will need to find a key, unless you wish to be fried. Uh, no. No, I don't. Wait, look at that. On the ground. There's nothing on the ground. Precisely. Helpful. The rest of this place is a riot of grime and muck, child, yet this path is almost spotless. I would be willing to bet half of my entire horde that a gelatinous cube has come this way. A what now? An oozing monster that inhabits places like this. Some people and more intelligent creatures keep them as witless guardians and janitors. The things absorb and dissolve any animal or plant material they touch as a way of eating. They cannot dissolve metals and other non-living things though, so... They can carry the equipment and goods of whomever they have eaten for some time. Whomever? As in people? Of course. Do not be dense, child. Now follow this trail. You might find something interesting floating in the cube's body. Just be careful, though, as they can be transparent and thus easy to overlook. I will as soon as I continue exploring a smidge. Okay, never mind. There, look. The thing has a key inside of it. It must have eaten a maintenance worker or one of the avowed. That might get us out of the sewers and into the cleaner part we saw earlier. Just don't let the creature suck you up. Please? 
taken care of. Hmm. Yes, it looks as if an enchantment quite similar to the one on the locked doors embedded in this key. It should work to get us through. What if it sets off the trap? Then you had best hope that the mage who put it there said it more as a deterrent rather than a defense. Okay. Okay, just going to open the door. <laughs> the magically trapped door stuffed with potentially lethal lightning. Right, okay. And voila. And still alive. Right, well, that's uh that's good. Yeah. Oh, be not so dramatic. You could find much worse before we are done here. I have heard tell that there are guardians and occasional escaped experiments down here. Mm -hmm. That may just be rumor. Wow, thanks. The possibility of even greater danger certainly sets my mind at ease. Thanks, Fire. Stop calling me that. You're in my body. I will call you whatever I say, please. And we're in the catacombs. Okay. This is where I'm going to stop for now. Because I have work today. And I gotta get dressed in like 20 minutes. So. <coughs> I will see you all la uh, later. Bye bye, Dragonets. <laughs>